Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for Android App Arena is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is Android App Arena, episode 91 for Wednesday, March 30th, 2016. News and storytelling. This episode of Android App Arena is brought to you by Blue Apron. Blue Apron will send you all the ingredients to cook fresh, delicious meals with simple step-by-step instructions right to your door. See what's on the menu this week and get your first two meals free by going to blueapron.com slash twit. That's blueapron.com slash twit. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Android App Arena. I'm your host, Jason Howell. We are swamped with news right now. I suppose that news never stops, but man, it feels like the perfect storm from important technology threads like the encryption debate to the nonstop deluge of election coverage here in the U.S. It's hard to keep track of it all and stay on top of everything without feeling, I don't know, overwhelmed by it all. So I thought I'd take a look at a few apps that caught my eye that help make sense of everything that's happening. Let's check out three great apps for news and storytelling in this week's roundup. If you like video and good quick bites of storytelling, then you will probably enjoy the app called Great Big Story. Here you'll find a number of two to three minute video vignettes about a wide range of subjects. For example, this is what's on offer for Tuesday, March 22nd, the date I recorded this review. You get a small list of the included videos and swiping up takes you to each of those videos. The landing screen for every video is sparse, but very graphic, so definitely pull Pulls you in. Tapping in launches the player with a nice little description of the vignette down below. This short video here shows how a woman, Melissa McCracken, can turn music into art in a process known as synesthesia. The videos inside Great Big Story are incredibly well produced and very engaging. They pull you right in. Here's a short minute and a half about the ring-tailed lemur. And the final video of the day focuses on the only female breakdancer in Alaska, Bree McMillan. Think of Great Big Story as a small, curated selection of stories about life on planet Earth. Below the Daily Digest are staff picks, a number of interesting slices of life, including this one about a boy who was one of almost 12 million people to try his hand at picking the ESPN NCAA bracket last year, and quite literally picked the winning bracket by sheer luck of the draw. Finally, tap that rocket icon down there for other categories of videos and vignettes. The content is super fresh and well-produced, so check out Great Big Story for free in the Play Store. Here's one of those apps that serves to show you news from all sorts of sources on all sorts of topics in one, as you can see, colorful place. Smart News has a number of brightly colored tabs up top that represent each important news category from top stories to entertainment, sports, election, 2016, world tech, and so on through to this buzz tab for things that are, you know, kind of buzzworthy. Scroll down and you'll see all the stories that fall into each category. Most are accompanied by, at the very least, a small thumbnail image from the article. But you end up with an infinite list of current news topics to explore. You can tap into one to pull it up and the default view is of the site. So you get to see the site in a web browser. But if you're on a limited data connection, Just tap the smart view that extracts the important text and images from the article and leaves the rest of the site out of it. It cuts down on the data that's needed to read the article and, I don't know, looks a bit more tailored for the small device screen. If you want to eliminate any channel tabs, simply tap and hold the tab and then you can reorder or remove from there. You can also add your own channel tabs by site with this plus icon. Adding Tech Insider, for example, shows me a preview of a few things represented on the site, the current content that it's showing, and I can then add it for good simply by tapping the Add button. 
Smart News is reminiscent of some RSS reader apps I've used in the past, but a bit more visual and perfect for the news junkie. Find Smart News for free in the Play Store. Like it or not, at least here in the U.S., we are in peak political news season with the run-up to the next presidency, and an app that aims to help guide you through that rough terrain is Sidewire Live News Analysis. From the front page, you get a long graphical list of some of the top political stories, both breaking and just kind of following throughout the day. Each is punctuated by a small circular thumbnail, row of thumbnails, in fact, of the Sidewire community that's pitching in to provide context around those stories. Who makes up the community? Why journalists do, campaign staff elected officials, experts in the world of politics. Basically, it's a crowdsourced community of people who are intertwined in the political world from both sides of the aisle, offering their own snippets of context around some of the biggest stories and threads as they happen. Tapping into a post shows the conversation below. This allows you to scan through and learn nuggets of information on a topic. And if you want to then expand on that knowledge, you just tap the article and you'll read more. You'll be taken to that article by the main author for further detail. If you want to stay in touch with the politics but don't want to read through all the gigantic write-ups, Sidewire is a great way to get a glimpse of the important stuff with extra context by the people who are in the know, who are actually making the news. And the developer has hinted at moving into verticals other than simply politics, so keep an eye out for that. It's an interesting and informative platform for political news right now. Find Sidewire for free in the Play Store. Man, from politics to news to personal interest stories, today's lineup has it all, if you like news. Three high-quality apps to install that all offer a bit of something different to your weekly news addiction. Send any that I've missed on this show to arena at twit.tv for inclusion in a future episode. I'm sure to revisit this topic again. All right, before we move on, let's thank the sponsor of today's episode. And it's time for you to get hungry because this episode is brought to you by Blue Apron. You need to know how to cook. I'm telling you that. Not only will you feel like you know your way around the kitchen, but cooking at home means eating healthier, saving money instead of ordering expensive takeout again and again. But, you know, knowing where to start, that's the hard part. Blue Apron has you covered. For less than $10 per meal, Blue Apron delivers all the fresh ingredients you need to create home-cooked meals. You just follow the easy step-by-step -step instructions that they send you. Each meal can be prepared in 40 minutes or less. No overwhelming trips to the grocery store. No more sad takeout that's going to make you cry. No matter your dietary preferences, Blue Apron makes it a breeze to discover and prepare dishes like Nepalese chicken tarkari with garlic, spinach, rice, and spiced tomato sauce. Or asparagus and arugula pesto pizza with pink lemon ricotta right in your own kitchen. You're making this stuff. Cook with ingredients that you've never used before. Things like watermelon radishes farro, purple potatoes. All the recipes are between five to 700 calories per portion. It's delicious, it's good for you, and you'll learn something about cooking in the process. Right now, you can get your first two meals free just by going to blueapron.com slash twit. Check out this week's menu and get your first two meals free. Just go to blueapron.com slash twit. And we thank Blue Apron for their support of Android App Arena. All right, up next, an app that literally opened my eyes to the future that I'm not entirely sure I want, but I know I'm definitely intrigued by. It's this week's big app. So there I was in my office with my cheap little cardboard viewer and a new app called VTime. I connected to this, a social network designed for VR, and I gotta say, I was kind of blown away by what this might mean for the future of social interaction online. I might be overstating it, but it felt like the future, for better or for worse. In VTime, you take some time to craft your avatar first and foremost in whatever unique ways that you want, or you can do what I did and just randomize it until you have something you wanna live with. You can connect VTime to Facebook to find people you know to connect with, but to show it off, I'll check out the lobby here and simply select a random person to chat with. Now, once you have a willing participant, you will be whisked away to one of 20 or so different immersive environments to have a sit down conversation with that person from the beach to an airplane to so many other locales. 
The audio from your phone is streamed to them in real time, as is their audio back to you. As people talk, their avatar's hands move in convincing ways. And honestly, I was amazed at how immersive the experience was. Yes, you are having a simple audio conversation with someone, but that in combination with the environment inside VR really sets a certain mood. It's an interesting mix of real and virtual that reminds me of Second Life to a certain degree at least. Now, I'm not saying I plan on spending much time in virtual conversation rooms like this, but I do think that this is an early glimpse into something that might someday be much less obscure and much more commonplace. VR is coming, and this is exactly the kind of transformative experience that'll help people to realize its power and potential. Find VTime for Google Cardboard now in the Play Store for free. All I can say is, man, the future is going to be weird, but you know, we're along for the ride, so buckle up. Send me your favorite apps and categories to arena at twit.tv. You can always post those to the subreddit at androidapparena.reddit.com. The show plays live every Wednesday around 5 p.m. Pacific following tech news today at twit.tv slash live. And the new episode will always appear later that evening in the feeds and on the show page at twit.tv slash arena. All right, that is it, folks. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Jason Howell, and I will see you next week in the arena.